I'm at where I'm at in life for a reason, and you at where you at in life for a reason. I'm rich for a reason, and you broke for a reason. And that's just facts. It's a reason behind this. Shout out one. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this true doctrine across the four winds of the earth in all truth and in sincerity. I'm Lamad Ariyah for the Mississippi camp. Lord willing, this be edifying lesson. And that the... Um, <clears throat> At the beginning of the video, that was you seen I had uh, this little clip of Soldier Boy, who's a pretty well known rap artist, you know, and he was speaking on how he's rich for a reason and whoever you're talking to is broke for a reason, you know, and that that's that's the mindset of most of these um, rappers, you know, these entertainers, the athletes, you know, they think that they're in such a good position, in such a good case, having these earthly, carnal, tangible riches, man, that really has no substance. They, they are dictated on how they are able to spend their money to come to a certain degree and they worship their money they worship their selves and and they have no understanding of you how about shimmy i was shot and all these things that they think is of substance they have is going to come to naught and a lot of these guys have heard of the israelites they know that they are Israelites. They have come across the path of Israelite camps where there was GMS, IUIC, ISUPK, or so on and so forth, to at least have heard the word of them being Israelites, okay? But they really don't want to let go of this world. You know, and he's saying he's rich for a reason, and he is. His reason is an example <clears throat> unto the men of the Lord of how carnal, and this is just one example, but how carnal the minds of our people are, how small-minded and low-level the mind of our people are. Because... The scripture goes into surely you come into this world with nothing and surely you will leave with nothing. Roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, this is vanity of vanities. All these things are tangible. You know, you can't take them with you when you die. Another man will continue on spending your riches, enjoying the lifestyle you establish, whether it's, you know, your family. Your kids, you know, whatever. Esau most definitely gonna profit off of your death. Cause Esau know most of you Jakes are are worth more dead than you are alive. That's why so many have been off. But at the end of the day, the question remains. We know, but what did you do to receive these riches? What did you do to receive this so called stature? that you that you uh uh own this this pinnacle that you're on these riches that you have these uh um perks of the world if you will we know you have to uh either bend over you done some kind of wicked vile abominable act you either you know sacrifice something in some shape form or fashion you know and i mean you look at the guy the guy looks of death, man. They have run through this man. You know, twisting his hair. <clears throat> Some points, they all different colors and shit. You know, that's neither here nor there. But the point is, you know, these guys are, they are of the two-third, man. 
Simply put, because these guys are not going to repent. They're not going to accept Yahabashim Yahabashim. They're not going to cast off the old men. They're not going to uh, uh, turn away from these uh, so-called riches. Because this is their livelihood. You know, without these tangible things, they feel like they are nothing, man. But that's the that's how naive and unlearned and, and, and lack of faith and knowledge of Yahweh Bashimi Abshah, these people are. Okay? Because the Lord has prepared a place for us, man, that he said no I've never seen, no ever heard of the place that he go to prepare for us, man. Roughly paraphrasing. The Lord is going to reward his men, his elect men, above imagination, man, beyond the, the thought we can have or process at this time, man. All we have to do is endure, man, believe, continue to do the work, make our bodies a living sacrifice, walk in the ways of righteousness to the best of our ability, man. Continue to pray, man, pray, 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 be brotherly. <clears throat> read do the videos you know and i speak to myself first and foremost man but these guys like use an example of uh soldier boy right now this man he's through he's he's too through he's out of there man suspect i believe the nigga uh uh is uh, a homosexual but the but again the point is man these guys put their faith in their money they are prideful because of their uh, uh, tangible, carnal um, things they have. Which is not going to do nothing for them in the day of judgment. Okay? So let me go on and read these scriptures, man. I'm going to close this out. This is just a quick lesson I wanted to do through the Spirit, man, when I ran across that video. But this is the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 35. For whosoever will have... For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my name's sake, and the gospel's the name shall save it. That's like the same shall save it. So, yeah, see, and these guys, a lot of these guys sold their soul, you know, to obtain these tangible riches, to uh, be on a platform to be looked at or marveled at in this society, man, but Ultimately, without repentance, it leads to death. Because all they do is uh, uh, participate in wickedness, following the ways of the heathen, man. Have no thought of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, wanting to get out the hood, thinking there's, you know, selling their soul is going to save their lives, man. Being wicked. And doing these, all these uh, abominable acts, man, like selling the soul, sacrificing people, offering their kids, uh, uh, being homosexuals, taking it up the rear just for a contract, man. Th that is ultimately leading to death. It's not preserving your life. It seems that way because you live in amongst these uh, super wicked people who have all sold their souls in some shape, form, or fashion to obtain uh, stature in this society, man, that's run by a devil, a wicked nation of people, man. Start with the elite of Esau Edom, the so called white man that runs the society, man. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. Anybody in their right mind can see who is the nation controlling everything that goes on in this wicked society, man. Okay, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So how how is how is it really going to benefit all these people, man, who have completely sold out to wickedness for temporary fame, for temporary riches? You're still going to get old. Your career is still going to start deplenishing. You're going to start just losing your fame because in this society, in this wicked world, it's, it's a transition, man. It's a it's a transition because everything is temporal. All those actors and athletes, you know, they may go into a Hall of Fame or some bullshit like that. But they're not long lived. They die off. Like I say, they become broke. 
They lose everything they have. You know, and, and, and they're a past tense. So what does it really profit you? See, that's why the men of the Lord, man, we're doing this in the name of Yahweh Shemi Yahweh this work, man. Proclaiming the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Prophesying the uh, uh, return of Yahweh Shai. Prophesying a righteous kingdom being established. You know? And speaking upon the prophecy that's going to pass as far as our, our eternity, man. Immortality. Having the law, statutes, commandments in our inward parts, man. Being righteous, man. Never going off again. Call Halal Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai. For all eternity, man. Rulership. Being part of that governing body. You know, we're, we have kingdom-minded thoughts, man. We're, we, we have put off these uh, uh, mortal thoughts and put on immortality, man. As the scriptures say. We are thinking so far beyond this fucking uh, um, mirage of life, as it is called. Because this isn't life, man. We're in hell. We're in hell, man. Working every day, bodily injuries, sicknesses, infirmities, you know, dying. Hey, the scripture speaks on we die all the day long, man. This devil give us no rest, man. We, we, we have to pay to work. We have to pay to go to the job. You know, we, we're hey, a bag with no holes in it. We're constantly putting out to try to get something, man. And we get no account for our labor. From the times of slavery until the present time. So what does it profit? Nothing. It's an illusion. Verse 37. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What? A few million dollars? A record deal? A movie deal? A football, basketball, baseball, softball contract, whatever the fuck. But and but still in the midst of all that, you're having to give up your, your rear. You having to sacrifice someone you supposedly love. You know? Is it is it really gonna profit you to give an exchange of your 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 manhood or your integrity to have uh, uh, money, so-called money of this kingdom, so-called riches of this kingdom. You know, it's it's not. But see, they be people that are so headstrong on that this society really has something to offer them, man. And at the end of the day, it does. But lies and deceit. Okay, I'm going to get another scripture. This is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4. Riches profited not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. <laughs> and that's the point, man, I pretty much want to get to in this video, man. These so-called riches... That you people have obtained selling your soul to this devil, you know, in exchange, you know, for for fame, so-called um, glory, I guess you would call it, some would, because they have seen them been put on this higher statue. What is going to do for you in the day of wrath? When, when the society shut down. What are your what are your riches gonna do? Ain't nobody gonna be paying to go to no concert. Ain't nobody gonna be thinking about buying no fucking albums. Ain't nobody gonna be giving a damn about you know uh uh um uh, going to no basketball game, no football game when all hell break loose, when there's civil unrest, when these um uh um uh, mercenaries are running the street, when 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 um martial law has been brought forth. When when that that MOTB has been implemented, think people gonna be giving a damn about an artist or, or a rapper or entertainer? Hell no, they gonna be trying to survive. They gonna be looking for food. I tell you what though, if you live next to those you so called 
entertainers, rappers that you live in close to one of these neighborhoods where Jake has been struggling, hey, you can be the prey. Because they're going to know that that's an easy target. A person of so-called substance in this world. So, hey, we, hey, hey, call her lawyer. How about send me out a shot? Hey, for us brothers that's in this truth, who's doing this work, man, to the best of our ability, man, who's striving to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who's pushing to endure through all to receive that crown of life, man. You know, the scriptures say, let no man take that crown. Hey, as long as we keep pushing, man, and have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, continue to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, Abba Rathazah, we are those men who are going to receive that crown of life, who's going to be delivered, man, who's going to have that protection. You know, because it's going to be a lot of more death coming, man, to America, man, and across the globe. But especially here in Babylon, it's going to be a lot of death, man. Eve catching hell as it is now. And, and, and Jake getting it too. But judgment is going forth, man, every day, man. And it's only going to get worse. Hey, the year of the turn up, man, already been decreed. Through apostle to heart, through the spirit, man. And every, for the past three years, whatever the spirit put on the Tazahar, apostle to heart to decree, that year, hey, it has come to fruition, man. It has come to pass. It has been seen through the spirit, man. Prophecies have been fulfilled and are steady being fulfilled. So, Man, that's all I wanted to, you know, speak on through the spirit. You know, Lord put the spirit on me just to do a video when I seen that um that little clip. So Lord willing, it's edifying. You know. Hey, we almost out of here, brothers. We almost up out of here, man. You still got everything heating up over there in Ukraine. You know, with Russia and America, the tension is thick, man. The tension is thick. And it ain't going to do them to get thicker, man. But the end is not yet. So we know it's still going to be a lot more have to pop off over there. But, hey, it's a it's prophecy. It's prophetic. It's coming to pass. We see it brewing. So we still got the MOT, got, MOTB got to come through. You know, we still got Jacob's Trouble that got to be full-fledged, you know, in full effect. But it's happening, man. Hey, the Lord said he is not a man that he can lie, man. And he said his words are faithful and true. So if the Lord said it, it's going to happen, man. It's going to happen on his time, but you can best believe, man. Though it tarry, wait for it. It surely won't tarry. So before we know it, man, it's, hey, it's going to be going down, man. So, hey, Lord, witness edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom. I'm at where I'm at in life for a reason, and you at where you at in life for a reason. I'm rich for a reason, and you broke for a reason. And that's just facts. It's a reason behind this.